natural gas showed a good swing it has achieved lower highs close to 3.5657 zone and has reversed since then on the downside very important part is it has got the support intact at 3.45 now what to expect today from net gas can we because see this is consolidation can we expect it to yield a bearish candle and move towards 3.4 levels or is it going to bounce back on the upside which position you should take in order to profit today trading natural gas we will see with the help of charts and in let's start first we'll look into early charts and then move towards the daily charts watch till the end towards the end i will give you the trading levels and strategy to profit also do like share subscribe and comment your every like share and comment is a great support motivation inspiration for me now look at the early charts see first of all a sharper drop reversal sign then a retracement now for hours it has been just consolidating it has yielded higher highs from the current levels and lower lows from the current level so this is the swing zone and it is precisely positioned at the median as of now now again if you see the price is staying above 3.5 one can stay long or one can buy here but then also 3.53 3.56 levels are going to remain critical yes it has to stay above 3.56 in order to confirm a further rise and then also even if it tries to rise as long as 3.6 is not breached do not treat natural gas as bullish as long as 3.6 is not breached do not treat natural gas as bullish for the day yes it has to stay above 3.6 chances appear to be less what is happening right now you see lower highs are getting created the support is seen here and here thus if you see the price is staying below 3.46 levels you can again stay short wait for it to break past 3.4 levels as long as 3.4 is not breached we are not going to treat this as bearish so right now it appears mostly a range bound day is what we can expect and a breakout is only confirmed either it has to break below 3.4 or stay above 3.6 levels now let's have a further detailed look here see the moving averages have crossed over here on the early chart this is a bearish sign the stock i stick at bottom mac be trading be but i will still say that it is staying flat without any bias rsi is flat coming to 2 hours likewise on the 2 hour charts lower highs and the breakout is what i will wait for even if it tries to break out look at 3.45 very 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 good support multiple candles getting reversed from the same levels below that we can look forward to 3.4 and i have mentioned several times as long as the, the strongest support here at 3.3 and then 3.2 levels as long as 3.2 is respected we are not treating net gas as bearish every opportunity will be an opportunity to buy here yes the, it may retrace a little it may try to show the swings it can try to come towards 3.3 there is a possibility if not today at some point of time but yes this is still not a bearish sign a stochastic flat macd has seen enough bearishness it is it may cross over and then move towards the buying entries if you look at macd see the rise here the retracement to the bottom without any significant drop in prices see the significant drop in the macd this is the beauty rsi is also looking downwards it has also come to comfortable levels coming to 3 hour charts now on the 3 hour charts yes under consolidation and it has to break either which way is in order to confirm the direction if you look at the moving averages these are trading with extreme divergence we have seen them and this conversion is a slight bearish sign for now but i'll wait unless and until these crosses over do not decide for the direction now if you look at the move here see yes it is bearish it can try to reclaim on the downside but then 3.4544 is a great great support and then ultimately 3.4 levels here below 3.4 is further bearishness will be prevailing a stochastic looking down macd stayed bearish here traded with divergence achieved the bottom it has erased all the gains here and if you look at the formation of net gas see uh, it has achieved the bottom a reversal from here can bring more bullishness rsi looking downwards coming to 4 likewise on the 4 hour charts lower highs a breakout is what is re uh, required here and a support zone is what it needs to break past by see below 3.45 levels yes more bearishness may prevail but again 3.4 very 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 good support exists as long as 3.4 is respected do not treat net gas as bearish on the upside i will recommend you to buy here at 3.5 itself but then 3.5253 first target and then 3.56 next only at net gas is seen above 3.56 more bullishness may prevail if you look at the 
moving averages on the four hour chart see this is these were trading with extreme divergence it is trying to flatten them a bit and may show a little conversion but then a breakout should be expected later stochastic looking down macd has seen bearishness again it has converged towards the flat levels and RSI has also come out of the overbought zone. Coming to the day, now see on the daily charts, moving averages are consistently looking upwards with the consolidation with the sideways move. What is happening? It is waiting for the moving average to climb up for next couple of days and then 3.3, 3.2. Already 20 period is at 3.2, which is again going to remain a great support zone and the chances of it to retrace towards 20 period moving zone is also increasing here because see too much of divergence of price from the moving average it calls for a conversion. Also if you look at 3.6 levels have formed a good enough resistance for hence the chances of a possible move towards 20 period moving average is high and it may not happen in a day but yes sooner or later it can try to achieve but if you see it consolidating with the smaller moves and look for the prices moving up, certainly 3.3, 3.4 levels in the coming week are going to remain a great support. Stochastic is overbought trying to cool down. Look at MACD. This is traded with extreme divergence and hence we can see it converging. We can see it co crossing over or at least converge a bit. And this is coming at a slightly higher levels, increasing the chance of a possible crossover in a cell. RSI is overbought here. Thus looking at... Before I give you the trading levels and strategy, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my mentorship batch. 26 batch is going to start on 16th of October. Couple of seats are still left. Reserve your seats now itself. Reach out to me via telegram or email for more details on same. Also, you can join my signals channel. Connect to me via email on the same. Now, if you look at today's selling position, see only selling position I will recommend is below 3.46 levels. Below 3.46, you can still expect 3.44, 42, and 4. Now, as long as 3.4 is respected today, we have to be watchful and alert. Only below 3.4 is where the bears will take over, and then 3.35 and 3.3. 3.3 is the first major support there, and then 3.2 levels, ultimate support. I I still do not see it breaking towards 3.2 at least. But yes, you have to exercise caution on the downside. There are great, great support and hence you have to strictly put the trailing stop loss or move your stop losses to the resistances. On the upside, only buying position today is about 3.5. But then in fact, if you're buying at 3.5, 3.52, 5.4, 5.6, 3 nearby and very, very stronger resistances. Beyond that, bullishness may prevail. However, as long as 3.6 is not breached, do not treat this as bullish here. Only about 3.6, it is to be treated bullish and we can see it flying high. I expect a slight drop. You have to trade with caution, trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge and signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. See you again tomorrow uh, with the more updates on a weekly review. Thank you.